speaking of, take a minute, think this over. Why order ice cream any month after October? I don't really mind the time to be your meal chauffeur, but it wouldn't melt if it came from somewhere closer. In the mood for some food that's so delicious? Don't want to cook yourself or have to do the dishes? Baby, I can bring it no matter what your wish is, just as long as you remember to update your address. I'm serious, I'm not being rhetorical. Cause when I'm walking with your meal down to your corridor, to your apartment, delivering your order, you call me minutes later just to say that you're in Florida. Delivering all these clothes on my feet. Just so I can bring you all you can eat. And when you see me zooming down your street, you know I'm delivering something savory or sweet. Order up all the food you enjoy. A long song to our top of our joy. Bringing it to you if you're in Illinois. It's my job. I'm a delivery boy. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insanian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan. And this week, I'm reacting to Jeff Bezos versus Mansa Musa. The newest epic rap battle of history, featuring Screwface Jean as Mansa Musa, which is very exciting. Uh, for those of you who have not been to my reactions before, uh, I am a comedy musician and I try to react to comedy music from the perspective of a fellow comedy musician. I do comedy songs. I just put out a new album called Illinois, which is available on Bandcamp and should be on Spotify and Apple Music and all those things soon. Uh, I do uh, nerdcore hip-hop and other geeky-related songs and other just kind of general comedy songs as well. Uh, there was a snippet of that all at the beginning of this video. Um, and I tend to pause and talk about uh, what we're hearing in the song, trying to react to it specifically from the perspective of a comedy musician. Uh, if you like that kind of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And of course, uh, if you really like these videos and want to see them early, plus get my music early, you can check me out at patreon.com slash insaneian. Your support there is greatly appreciated as well. You get to see these videos early, get to hear some of my tunes before they come out, all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, I'm very excited to see this one. And also, I'm very excited because we just hit 10,000 subscribers here. And uh, tomorrow, Saturday the day after this airs, which will be Saturday, December 11th, I believe, uh, I'm doing a live stream uh, to celebrate 10,000 subscribers. I'll be live streaming me playing the first three chapters of Bendy and the Ink Machine and then reacting to the three Stupendium songs about Bendy and the Ink Machine. Uh, stupendium songs meaning by the artist the Stupendium, a great nerdcore artist who does songs about games and other cool things like that there. Anyway, wow, this intro is long. Anyway. Let's dive in to two of the world's richest people rap battling each other. Jeff Bezos of Amazon and Mansa Musa, the world's wealthiest man from the 18th century or something like that. Yeah, like estimated to have been worth like 40 billion, 400 billion dollars, something like that. I did a Google search cursory. It was just, ha. Huh. So, uh, you know, trying to figure out who is this? Because it's been a while since I've been in school and I don't remember that. But things. Jeff Bezos played by uh, Epic Lloyd and Mansa Musa played by Screwface Jean. Very excited. Let's dive in. And apparently their video is sponsored by NordVPN. Not mine though, just theirs. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. <laughs> being being lifted by the Amazon drone. <laughs> uh, that's just the expressions that he's making are already disturbing. Bravo. By the holy Quran, I lay my hand upon. I blaze Bezos, inflict the flammatory damage on. Already screw bringing the heat with the with the flow on that. Yes, that is very nice. By the holy Quran, I lay my hand upon. I blaze Bezos, inflict inflammatory damage on Amazon. Burn it down like when they put the cattle on the hottest on the map. Just a hatless a cattle on. Wow. Hardcore bars there, man. Holy crap, that was uh, impressive. Quran, I lay my hand upon. I blaze Bezos, inflict inflammatory damage on. Also, in the uh, let's take it back there for a second. No, that is not what I wanted to do. Come on. Everybody tells me to hit uh, the... the J makes it go back 10 seconds. And the 
comma makes it go back five. No, comma makes it go back one. And I can't make it go back five. And I'm trying to get back slightly. I did the arrow key that time. I've been doing this for a while, and still, that messes me up. Hooray! Welcome! Professionalism. Uh, I like the split screen where, where Jeff is clearly in an Amazon warehouse. Well, obviously green screen, I mean, but, like, you know, they're not there. But, you know, the background being, you know, his his kingdom and his other kingdom, you know? it's I like the dichotomy there, is what I'm saying. The holy Quran, I lay my hand upon. I blaze Bezos, inflict the flammatory damage on. Amazon, burn it down like when they put the cattle on. Also, burning down the Amazon. Like the Amazon rainforest. That's a, it's a good double there. The hottest on the map is the Atlas of Catalan. King of Mali, what cold bars you can't escape from. Nice. Yeah, he was, the, he was the king of Mali, but gold bars you can't escape from, not just talking about his wealth, but also, you know, your rap bars. His, his bars in, in his verse that he's spitting are so good they're gold, you know? Yeah, explanations of obvious things, yeah. The flammatory damage on Amazon Burn it down like when they put the cattle on The hottest on the map Since the Atlas of Catalan The King of Mali With cold bars you can't escape from Lyrically I pack heat You got to take gun I'm laying the blows you can't dodge This ain't sales tax I <laughs> He can't dodge like this is sales tax Oh man That's so good I pack heat You got to take gun I'm laying the blows, you can't dodge, this ain't sales tax I left for prince in the Sahara, I know how I try Bust dorks like dot-com bubbles when I hit them Busting dorks like dot-com bubbles Wow! There's some fire lines already Nah, you can't spit, you got that algorithm That's my favorite line so far You've got that algorithm because you can't spit Saying like, you know, a lot of people said that Al Gore was kind of static and kind of stoic in his speeches he was kind of he seemed a little robotic but also algorithm meaning algorithm the way that amazon targets ads to you is through the algorithm and that's just that is such a brilliant double that's so good wow you can't dodge, this ain't sales tax I left a prince in the Sahara, I know how I try Plus dorks like dot-com bubbles when I hit them Nah, you can't spit, you got that algorithm Here's a nugget of advice to get your union problems handled Want workers that don't piss? Hire some camel I <laughs> Oh man, yeah, so A lot of people saying that, you know, the work conditions in the Amazon warehouses are bad. Everybody's wanting to take a break, and instead of being told they can take a break to use the bathroom, they give them bottles to piss in. That's a problem. Wow, this is this is already so fire. This is really great. Okay, the arrow key goes back five seconds. I figured it out eventually. It's fine! Good advice to get your union problems handled Want workers that don't piss? Hire some camel I expand the horizons with libraries and mosques While you chopped off the top of all the mom and pop shops It's true Amazon put a lot of, especially library, uh, bookstores Not libraries, bookstores uh, out of business Because Amazon was originally just solely a bookseller And put a lot of the mom and pop bookshops out of, out of business And then because, you know, ordering online was so much more convenient. And now because they've spread to, you can buy anything at Amazon, it is kind of crushing a lot of the uh, the retail industry. Although at the same time, the retail industry kind of, some of it needs crushing. Not like you know, small businesses, but like some of the bigger corporate things. Because working conditions there also suck, as we've discovered during the Panini. I don't want to say the real world word. The real word. All you widened was the gap between the haves and have not. Now they order in a living in your cardboard box. Damn. That is that is a, a very satisfying diss right at the very end of the verse. Between the haves and have not. Now they order in a living in your cardboard box. At Amazon, our product research is phenomenal, but I've never heard your story. And I own Audible. <laughs> 
the voice he's using for Bezos sounds like a like like a Muppet on crack. Oh my god, it's brilliant. It's so so nasally and almost cartoony. Uh it's and also that that dig, yeah. A lot of people like myself had to look up Mansa Musa to see who he was for this battle. Uh, uh, so much so that one of the top Google searches the week this came out was who is Mansa Musa. <laughs> that's true. That's a true story. Uh, wow. The uh, doesn't even know who you are, and I own Audible because. So many things are sponsored by Audible. Would have been funnier if this one was sponsored by Audible and not NordVPN. Let's be honest. Uh, that would have been a little conflict of interest in either person's case, honestly. <laughs> Let's take that back a little. Between the haves and have not. Now they order in a living in your cardboard box. At Amazon, our product research is phenomenal, but I've never heard your story. And I own Audible. So go dig some more gold there, Kanye West Africa. Kanye West Africa. Ooh. Uh, that's a decent, that's a decent one. I'm hotter than the soundtrack to Battlestar Galactica. Never trade blows with Jazzy Jeff Bezos. Jazzy Jeff Bezos. Because, you know, Jazzy Jeff, DJ Jazzy Jeff, Jeff was the uh, Fresh Prince's DJ, Will Smith. Uh, and also a, a, a great hip-hop DJ in his own right anyway outside of that uh, collaboration but uh, calling yourself Jazzy Jeff Bezos that's uh, it's a little rough I do like the the blue origin uniform that he's using here with a stupid cowboy hat and also all the Amazon boxes that he's knocking over to, to bust through the wall like Kool-Aid man uh, the, the hotter than the soundtrack to Battlestar Galactica though I don't is is the only reason you said that because it rhymed with Kanye West Africa? Or is there some significance to specifically the Battlestar Galactica soundtrack with Jeff Bezos that I'm missing? I don't know the relevance there. If you do, leave it in the comments, because that one's a little over my head. Also, he looks like some sort of weird uh, Lex Luthor kind of thing going with this, uh, but also because of the way he's sauntering around somebody else and I can't I can't think of it now but yeah I'm getting I'm getting Lex Luthor vibes which also I guess is appropriate for Jeff Bezos the soundtrack to Battlestar Galactica never trade clothes with Jesse Jeff Bezos egghead with a huge set of wavos so that's a decent double egghead obviously because he's bald huevos is uh, Spanish or, or Mexican for eggs, but also huevos meaning testicles, saying you've got the cojones, uh, I guess is what he's trying to infer. Sure, decent. I serve more people on the web than Spider Man! You rap like a soccer ball, that's why you roll with caravan! You're Again, so, some decent lines there. Uh, Serve more people on the web uh, since Spider-Man. Uh, we know that I am a big Spider-Man fan. Yes. It's okay. Uh, soccer moms and caravans, though, because caravan is a type of a minivan. Uh, that's a that's a decent bar. I'll give him that one. Not getting a lot of... Not getting as much heat off of Bezos' lines as I was monsters overrated like you leave economies inflated you're about to taste some of that salt that you traded so long-term play and giving your wealth away because right. now i feed your whole country for the price of a cup of coffee per day so bow to me like you did to the king of cairo you're about as hack as saudi's tapping my iphone You'll be about as hack as saudi's tapping my iphone that's that's a that's a decent flip i I'm not digging on his flow on this one. I'm also kind of like not digging on the voice either. It's kind of, I mean, it's supposed to be irritating. That's the purpose of it. But it's also, it's not meshing with the beat for me. It's, uh, Mansa already blew him out of the water just on flow alone. So. More ashamed than when you accidentally killed your mom. When I make you shit your pants, versatypers.com. Okay. Learning some things, too, about Monza, which is what happens with a lot of these ERBs, is if I'm not familiar with one of the people in the battle, 
the other person's dings at them are things that I'm learning. Because they, they do research these super, super well, and that's always kind of like one of the things I appreciate about, uh, you know, the ERB battles is how much they research into what disses they're putting into the line. So apparently, Mansamusa accidentally killed his own mother. That's neat. Ugh. And and uh, shitting yourself worse than diapers.com. I, I remember diapers.com being a, a thing, and I guess Amazon absorbed them or something. I don't... Yeah, sure. And in this next line, he calls him Lex Loser. So I was a little ahead of the game on the Lex Luthor idea. Hey, yo, Lex Loser. You look like a villain at Comic-Con. You getting ate up. You should have battled me on Ramadan. <laughs> Should have battled me on a Ramadan. That's religious bars. That's good. You killed your mom when I make you shit your pants versus the diapers.com. Hey, yo, Lex Loser. You look like a villain at Comic Con. You getting ate up. You should have battled me on Ramadan. A harem of women's what I had on my staff. You married one woman, Jeff, and she cut you in half. What I had on my staff is a double that I'm not explaining. It's a double entendre, in other words. So, uh,. Yeah, and also you uh, you had one woman and she cut you in half. That's what's a that's a prenup right there. Uh, getting half of your stuff in the divorce. Education, children. <laughs> oh, ERB's high inquisitor, Bezos's divorce, the weird wiener pics no one wants to see, gross texture and colors from his reptile skin. How he drinks employees' tears. That's probably the only thing on there that... Anyway. Sleazy Amazon rapper. Inside is $2.44 preferred beverage. Legend pages of craft and epic rap battles of history. I don't... I can't see what it is behind the lyrics. But uh, apparently his ex-wife has some... Uh, unflattering dick pics of Bezos. Oh man, that's uh that's a filthy bar right there too. Let's take that back a little bit. Woman's what I had on my staff. You married one woman, Jeff, and she cut you in half. David Pecker picked the peck of your Peter pig. Now your new girl got them feeding me see more lips. There's there's a not polite way to describe a woman by saying they have uh, lips of a certain stature. I'm not going to get into this on this because I try to keep myself a little family friendly even if the lyrics aren't, so explaining it is difficult. Uh, but uh, that's what the internet's for, kids. Uh, yeah. And it turns out her own... Feed Me Seymour Lips, we'll put it in, into, into these terms for you. Uh, Feed Me Seymour is from Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, it is sung by the plant, Audrey 2. Audrey 2 is a giant, uh, not really Venus flytrap, it looks kind of like a Venus flytrap, but it actually eats human flesh uh, and, and human meat. Uh, so it's it's got these giant, pursed, luscious lips on the end of it because it's a, a talking plant and it's weird. Uh, so think of giant pursed lips. That's what the Feed Me Seymour lips mean. And using those for extracurricular activities is the best way I can go about explaining that without getting into abbreviations. Eat a pig. Now your new girl got them feeding me Seymour lips. And it turns out her own brother was the snitch. He woo! Fix your face. No wonder you bought twig. Ooh. Ooh, making fun of the Okay, man. It's getting it's getting brutal in those bars there, and uh Yeah. Yeah, Monsa's already already stolen this one, but even more so in these bars. This is phenomenal. And again with the the whole production of the video with ERB, you're you're gonna get that consistently. You know, you've got them in each of their own battlegrounds, each of their own known places of origin, I guess. You know, places where you would assume that person would be, and it's always split down the middle, and they have the face-offs in the battle, 
and like whenever they have like the clones of them in the background doing doing extra dances and stuff it's always pretty vibrant and it's always a lot of uh, good places to draw your eye uh and you know with video production for comedy music you don't want jokes in the background to take away from the jokes and the lyrics you want them to add to it so you know him emphasizing the cut you in half with his background person uh of himself uh it's always good little touches like that that i dig now let me really break it down because there's more to him he ain't a Bezos, his real name is Jorgensen. <laughs> but daddy loved unicycles more than him, so we rolled down. Now that's a blue origin. Ooh, doing the flip on the on the shuttle name and and that verse reminded me of <laughs> it reminded me of Eight Mile when uh, Eminem goes after <laughs> Clarence, uh, Anthony Mackie's character in the in the final battle of the movie in Eight Mile. So <laughs> that reminds me of that whole section. <laughs> like, you can pick on me, but hey, let's go back and do who you really are. Your real, real name is Clarence. And I, yeah, all of that. All of that. Bravo. And take one small step towards a different profit. And that, that go, going back to the Blue Origin things, one stall, small step, whole space exploration, that's what they said when they got to the moon, and a different profit, both being the, the double on, like, the prophet meaning somebody who prophesizes something, but prophet spelled with a with an F instead of a PH, meaning the money that you make, the prophet. Cause these days you just as cocky as your rocket. I'm the His rocket does, I mean, that's that's an old George Carlin line, you know? You know, why are all the uh, the rockets and the bullets and the missiles all shaped like dicks? It's the subconscious need to project the penis into other people's affairs. It's called fucking with people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all the rocket ships, they're all very phallic. It's a, we must thrust it toward into the stratosphere. That was an unfortunate hand movement that I did to emphasize that. Whatever. Love unicycles more to him, so we roll down. Now that's a blue origin. And also talking about his dad leaving him. Just, just brutal bars going on here. And take one small step towards a different profit. Cause these days you just as cocky as your rocket. I'm the cream of the crop. I'm on top. I'm ice cold. This Muslim just served you. A la mode. Ooh. That's a really good line too. This Muslim just served you. The, the Muslim God is known as Allah. And uh, a la mode is usually a apostrophe l a or a with an accent mark on it accent aigu uh on a la french meaning a la mode meaning on the side uh so uh, very good double there bravo i'm lyrically legal i'm relentless african first immune i wanted to waste my life with desert spice i watched you what do we get the kids okay is is flow got switched up a little there he is uh putting a couple extra syllables in his bars there a little getting a little speedier there this Muslim just served you, a la mode. Oh, so I'm lyrically lethal, I'm relentless, African first immune. If I wanted to waste my life with desert spice, I'd watch Dune. Uh, the spice expands the mind in Dune. We give McKenzie 40 billion, so what? <laughs> Earning every penny back only took me a month. That is true. Mackenzie, his ex-wife, got 40 million. Bezos makes that in a blink of an eye, which is disturbing. No one should have that amount of money. Holy crap. Uh, and, like, you... How... No one can make that kind of money in reality, either. To make the amount of money that Bezos has would take lifetimes that are not actionable by a person in real life, you know? You'd have to live two lifespans to even come close to making it at a normal idea of working 40 hours a week making a thousand dollars every hour you still wouldn't get cut close to it is basically what i tried to say with all of that but tried to make myself sound smarter than i was or am moving on i went from haunted dork to slick orc physique now i'm lord of the rings take a pee that's a double too because Lord of the Rings, and he does the doorbell dong because Ring is Amazon's, uh, or is it, yeah, it's Google Nest, but Amazon does Ring, 
and it's it's your your home thing where you've got the doorbell with the camera inside it to see who's ringing your door and uh you can check that from you know your phone or whatever but also there's amazon is doing the lord of the rings tv series so there's that weird little internal double on that and he's calling himself the lord of the rings too because he's the boss of ring and also the boss of the amazon series and he went from hobbit dork to that so yeah um some some nerd bars again Three years to trek to Mecca, man, you must be tripping. But click, I'll get you there overnight with free shipping. <laughs> but the guy catching the packages, who I think is like one of the producers of VRB, uh, clearly having trouble keeping up with the production line, which is a problem that's happening in the Amazon warehouses. But see, now I'm Lord of the Rings. Take a pee. <laughs> Three years to trek to Mecca, man, you must be tripping. But click, I'll get you there overnight with free shipping. I'm hard corporate. That's a decent rhyme scheme there. I'm I'm hard corporate, hardcore, corporate, top tier of the Forbes list. Which, that's I, I like that little pocket there. That was nice. You couldn't even hit top tier in Civ Six. And again, more nerd bars. Civilization is a PC game. Uh. Yeah. And you must be tripping. But click, I'll get you there overnight with free shipping. I'm hard corporate, top tier of the Forbes list. Also, respect to to uh, Lloyd for the gun show. That was uh, that was impressive. Uh, I also forgot to say that respect to Stupendium in last week's video for his gun show. Uh, all these people who are showing me up uh, as a, a flabby reactioner. That's fine. It's, I'm not bitter or weird about it. Take a pee! <laughs> Three years to trek to Mecca, man, you must be tripping. But click, I'll get you there overnight with free shipping. I'm hard corporate, top tier of the Forbes list. You couldn't even hit top tier in Civ 6. I like that scene transition where he's carrying a package and it does the wipe behind him. I like scene transitions like that. I, Edgar Wright is a great director and I love when he does transit. Like, I think throughout all of Hot Fuzz, every scene transition is somebody wiping across screen to bring it to a different new location. I dig that kind of stuff. I dig pr weird production things like that. It's not something that you usually bring out in a in a reaction or a notice, but uh, I dig it. I'm schooling you like Timbuktu, eating you like Whole Foods. Your ship is still just like the dude who came before you. you Absorbing you like Whole Foods, because when you eat, you absorb food for energy, but also Amazon absorbed the retail store Whole Foods and is now, that's now an Amazon store. Hey, fire can't hold the candle to me. Fire and Kindle are two of the book reading application devices that Amazon has. Reference bars now is what we're happening here. Hit top tier and sip sick. I'm schooling you like Timbuktu, eating you like Whole Foods. And I guess Timbuktu is a schooling app. Maybe. I'm not I was thinking of the place Timbuktu. So maybe that's a thing. That one I'm not familiar with, but just context clues are important, kids. Your ship is still just like the dude who came before you! If you ain't fire, can't hold the candle to me! I got the flywheel flows, I revolutionized delivery! Your talent's only beauty! I revolutionized delivery is a double. Because he's talking about not just package delivery, but the way he's de delivering his bars. That was decent, too. Again, not all of... These are some good lines in Bezos' things, but... He's... Nothing is topping what Monza did, so... Yeah. I'm, I'm, some of these lines I am digging, I, I will admit. Me. I got the flywheel flows, I revolutionized delivery. Your talent's on the beauty like my tax. Skills. Alexa, what do we have that he lacks? Skills. <laughs> <laughs> and Alexa coming in with the last bar. <laughs> Poster, you just are the battle. battle of wealth. I do, I do love all the, uh, the little ways they end the, the battles with how they say epic rap battles of history, but, uh, yeah, clearly Mansa Musa destroyed in that one. Uh, just entirely better flow, had the better burns, in my opinion. 
If you think differently, you can leave that down in the description below. But uh, if you want to see this video without me yammering about it all over the, uh, the, the locals and pausing it and all that, you can get that in the description below. Uh, this one, yeah, Screwface John absolutely killed it. Go check him out. He's a great reactor and great rapper. Uh, and though there's finally Nice Peter showing up in the, uh, the production line there. Uh, yeah, this was fantastic. Thanks for joining me. Tune in tomorrow, if you're watching this on the Friday that it released, for the live stream for the 10,000 subscribers. I'm very excited. Thank you all for, uh, for subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Nice to meet you. Let me introduce myself. Name is like Yagami. Say it just how it's spelled. I'm still in school and even though the grade I'm in is 12, I got the drive and the IQ. I will change the world. See, I found this weird book. Now it belongs to me. I touched it and I saw a creature called a Shinigami. His name is Ryuk and it seems he is the god of death. And when your name's scrolled in his book, you'll take your final breath. So now I'll use this.